Hello everyone, my name is Mark Florence and I'm with the Southwest Technical College and Solar PV Outlaws. In this video we're going to talk about arc fault protection as required in the 2017 National Electrical Code related to solar PV systems. Let's get started. In 690.11 of the 2017 National Electrical Code, it talks about arc fault circuit protection on the DC side. And it states that PV systems operating at greater than or equal to 80 volts DC between any two conductors must be protected by a listed PV arc fault circuit interrupter device or equivalent. And the listing has to be for both DC use and PV systems. So I want to break this down a little bit and talk about the different requirements within 69011. First off is it does not matter where the PV system is installed, whether it's ground mount, pole mount, uh, roof mount, wherever, whether it's on a commercial residential building, it doesn't matter. If the PV system has a voltage greater than or equal to 80 volts on the DC side, measured between any two conductors, it has to have arc fault circuit interrupter protection, period. And that listing has to be specific. It has to be both for DC use and PV systems. So what that means is that you can't just buy any off-the-shelf AFCI device and expect to put it in a PV system and believe that that would meet the requirements of the code. The listing has to be, and I want to emphasize this, both for DC use, because that's where we're looking for those arc faults, is on the DC side of the system, and it also has to be listed for PV systems. Typically, this AFCI device, or the AFCI um, protection, will be included with, and it's been out for a while, but this would be included within the inverter. I appreciate you joining me today. If you found this information to be useful and you'd like to either stay connected or be notified about future videos, please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I hope to see you in the future. Thanks.